Hey guys, nice to see you all again. I know it's been a while since I've done one of my cooking shows, but uh, got another good one for you tonight. Uh, pork tenderloin, cheesy baked Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes. The first one here is the good looking pork tenderloin. Got it right there for you. Try to give you a little close up view on it. Uh, I went and bought them from you know, the grocery store. Went ahead and got them home, put them in a pan, set my oven for 425. Time prepared to cook for is 45 minutes to 50 minutes. I pulled mine out at 45 minutes, cut it in the middle. Seems like it's pretty good. It's got the right tip. 145 to 165. I pulled that out. Got it setting over to the side. In the meantime, I went ahead and did some cheesy baked Brussels sprouts. Really, really good. Easy, simple. What you do is you go, you buy two bags of Brussels sprouts, cook you up eight pieces of bacon, get you two good sized shallots, cut those in half. Mince them up real good, set them up to the side along with the bacon, cook your bacon, crunch it up, get it real good and bacon bit size, set it over to the side. As you're doing that, I always, you're not, you don't have to, but I always boil my Brussels sprouts for at least five to ten minutes so they get pretty good and soft. It doesn't call for it. But, I, like I said, I like doing it that way because I know it's good and tender. After that, I'll get me a saute pan. I'll put in my Brussels sprouts, two tablespoons of butter, and my shallots. Saute that up for about five to ten minutes. Set it over to the side. Give me a pan, put it in a baked dish pan or a little aluminum baked dish pan, either or. Set my oven for 325. Let it preheat till the timer goes off. Get it good and hot. After that, I'll put my Brussels sprouts, shallots, cheese on top of that, bacon bits, and then after that, I'll take a little bit of whipping, heavy whipping cream, pour on top of that just to cover the top. Get it real good and covered. And then Put it in your oven, like I said, for about 15-20 minutes. After you do all that, pull it out, let it out, cool off. That's pretty much what you get, guys. I mean, it's really pretty, really simple. Not a whole lot of time. It's probably about five hours worth of food. Um, like I said, your little pork pork tenderloins over here. I got two of them. It takes 45 minutes. Set your oven 425. 45 minutes like I said after you do that just get it out set it over to the side where it cools off a little bit cut it pieces get you a nice little plate serve it up and there you go in the meantime guys thanks appreciate your time hope everybody's living well and defeating the COVID God bless you all be safe 